In this lesson, we are going to look at relative clauses. Sometimes they're also called adjective clauses. Remember, you will need your pen, a highlighter and a note-taking sheet while watching today's video. Write down any questions that you may have for your teacher as we go. Remember, you can pause the video, rewind and watch it as many times as you like. So, what are relative clauses exactly? To answer this question, we need to define a clause first. A clause is a group of words that contains a verb and usually form part of a sentence. They express a single thought. A sentence can sometimes have two clauses. A relative clause is one that's connected to the main clause of the sentence by a word such as who, which, that or whose. Before we start talking about relative clauses, let's make sure you understand what a clause is. Let's look at the following sentences and decide where the clauses are. The boy who is wearing a red shirt is eating ice cream. Do you see the clauses? How many are there? Yes, that's right, there are two. The first clause is, the boy is wearing a red shirt. And the second clause is, eating ice cream. Remember, the clause usually follows who, which or that. So the clause in this sentence is, who is wearing a red shirt. Who is wearing a red shirt is just extra information. It is not necessary. The sentence could be, the boy is eating ice cream. But you want to make sure that somebody knows which boy you are talking about. Remember, you usually use a relative pronoun, who, which or that, after the noun. And when discussing people, you should use who. If the subject is at the beginning of the sentence, like in this sentence, and when talking about a person, you will need to use commas on either side of the clause, like you see here. How do we combine or make sentences with relative clauses? Relative clauses with relative pronoun as subject. Who? Used only for people. There is a boy. He is eating ice cream. There is a boy who is eating ice cream. That. Used for people and things. I drive a car. The car belonged to my uncle. I drive a car that belonged to my uncle. Which? Used for things. Zayed University has three campuses. It was founded in 1998. Zayed University, which was founded in 1998, has three campuses. Always remember that relative clauses can come after nouns to give more information about the noun. The information is extra and not always necessary but it helps to identify nouns and to give more information. So, as mentioned earlier, relative clauses have one of the following pronouns. Who, which or that. Who and that can be used with nouns that are people. And which or that can be used with things, not people. We have already tried some examples with who. Now, let's try some examples with that and which. That can be used with either people or things, but it does not need commas around it. Let's look at these two clauses. Can you combine them using the word that? I drive a car. The car belonged to my uncle. I will give you a few seconds to think about it.
Okay, so first you will write, I drive a car. Next, you add the word that. You do not need to write the car again because it is at the end of the clause before. Also, remember that a car is a thing you will need to use that or which. So the sentence will be, I drive a car that or which belonged to my uncle. You do not need commas here because you are not adding the relative clause in the middle of the sentence. It is at the end of the sentence. Let's look at a sentence that uses which in the middle of it. Here are two sentences. Zayed University has three campuses. It was founded in 1998. How can you combine these two sentences to make one sentence with a relative clause? I will give you a few seconds to think about it. Write the answer on your note-taking sheet. Let's look at the first sentence. It is easy to understand. Zayed University has three campuses. But what if I want to add extra information about when it was established? We would then say, all right, Zayed University, which was founded in 1998, has three campuses. Which was founded in 1998 goes after the noun Zayed University, because that is the information being referred to. Remember to use the commas. What if the sentences were... Zayed University was founded in 1998. It has three campuses. Can you combine these two sentences using the second sentence as a relative clause? Write down your answer on your note-taking sheet. I will give you some time to think. We start with Zayed University which is the subject of the sentence, and is a thing, not a person. Now, what relative pronoun will we use? That's right, we need to use which or that. After Zayed University, we add the extra information, which is a relative clause using information from the second sentence. So it should be, Zayed University, which has three campuses, was founded in 1998. You do not need to use the word it, since it refers to Zayed University, which is already written. Before we finish up for today, I wanted to mention just one more thing. Make sure that the verbs in the relative clause agree with the noun. For example, for Zayed University, which is singular, use the form of the verb has. But if the noun is universities without Zayed, then you would use have. Looking back at our first example about boys eating ice cream, we would say the boy who is eating ice cream is wearing a red shirt. Or... The boys who are eating ice cream are wearing red shirts. The verbs in the relative clause agree with the noun. That's all for today. Remember to re-watch this video as many times as you like. Thanks for watching and good luck.